and and basically with what I was going through that I had to go see the doctor so I found a doctor out there and it's like uh the healing of the people that are, that are there regardless of they're dead I was just like look I need a doctor you know what I'm saying the doctor spirit came to see me you feel me the doctor spirit is with me so to whomever the people are that are in the families that are in the that goes there i want you to understand that the doctor that is in there he healed me do you understand like i have a cane i have a walker and i have a wheelchair okay but he healed me the doctor healed me like I, I i'm able to get up and just walk around i thank the doctor and his family okay i know it might just sound strange but you have to believe in that the spirits can heal you okay and i'm able to walk around sometimes i have pain you know what i'm saying and then you know like when the weather's change because of your accident you be aching in pain and aching in pain and aching in pain okay um the, the doctor healed me like i have never made soap before okay and i was trying to mix the colors to do color ones right and and the shit just wouldn't work right but then one day it worked so i was like oh it worked you know what i'm saying like that drink was that was just like the most butter feeling like it was just like you just made some homemade rose and you put butter on it and the taste of it it was so wonderful when i made the soap that that was of color you know what i'm saying but i made soap no anything about soap and i put tea in the inside of it okay and i just basically was telling the spirit of the person that's right there they're like i need you to help me okay <clears throat> And the spirit here healed me. Like whatever kind of doctor did he was. And I don't know. He healed me. Like I'm able to just walk. You understand? Like it's the best feeling in this world. To just be able to just walk. I would not give up my walker. My wheelchair nor my cane. I will keep it forever. Because you never know. You know what I'm saying? But I thank that doctor so much. And their fa and who whomever family that is alive, that there's a doctor that is in there with Mr. John Marshall, and I am healed, okay? Um, but I know how to make soap now. Like, I got really excited. Like, I can make soap, you know what I'm saying? I know how to do it. I looked at YouTube, and I know how to do it. I looked at YouTube to learn how to do my balloon centerpieces, and I did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, wonderful you know what i'm saying so now i'm on youtube now and i'm like well i want to learn how to do my nails when i tried it when i was a kid i couldn't do it you know what i'm saying so then now it's like okay but well then i'm gonna want to learn about how you put on makeup and what about this kind of stuff and what about that kind of stuff with the youtube people you know oh excuse me but i just want you all to understand that depending on the person that you are you know what I'm saying? Everybody don't believe in spirits, okay? I don't necessarily believe in ghosts. But then, what is a spirit that is left on on this earth? You know what I'm saying? It's a ghost. You know what I'm saying? So, then everybody believes it's going to be just a little tiny bit different. You know what I'm saying? Like, I believe in King Jesus. I believe in God. I also want to learn about the spiritual leaders of the world. So, China has a spiritual leader. You know what I'm saying? That they believe in. My daughter' name is Asia Anna. You know what I'm saying. I learned like she that her name is like on an airplane or something. Um. I learned about um. I learned about um. Let me see. Did 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 they do like they do a celebration? Um. And they do like the little dance and they all come out and they do the little thing. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I learned about the country Asia. You know what I'm saying? I know that um, the African world, they do, they have their own kind of dance. 
You feel me? And it's different. And we all want to do it. You know what I'm saying? But then they come in a variety of people. They also can speak French. They got their own languages. You know what I'm saying? I learned a whole lot. Right? So when I say I want to have me a black child, I want to have me an African child in a variety. You understand? Of people. Of the African culture. Okay? Um... You know, a lot of people can say, I'm mixed with this, I'm mixed with that, I'm mixed with this, I'm mixed with that. And they are African. That's that's the kind of child that I would like to have. All right? And I love the dance in which they can do. I want to teach my children about the different cultures of the world. All right? Um, along with, I will have to learn about the hair. I will have to learn about how to do the nails. I will have to teach my children. You know what I'm saying? We would just be learning differently. You know, it's like, I'm going to teach all my children about all the different cultures of them. You know what I'm saying? But then they would have to learn about the cultures of myself, you know. But then I'm also going to teach them about um, their language. But they all will learn about the different languages, all right? Um... When the people fix the gate that is surrounded by Mr. John Marshall, there will be nobody going up in there that you don't belong in there. So basically, if you live where my activity home is, all right, um, you would not be going into no graveyard. So, like, what I did was with my pup is that it's like in the beginning part like when you first go into the to our gate it's an area in which you could take your pup to because i just started taking her over right there like in the front part they do need to fix the gate where the dogs won't go wandering off to the side and you don't know what's back there um but like i'm teaching her like we got to stay in this front part right here we don't need to go to the graveyard you know what I'm saying? Regardless of Mr. John Marshall, it's there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would rather for my class, class of 2001, class of 2000, to go see Mr. John Marshall. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would like to put something on his grave site. Like, some flowers or something. But, like, for us to just be, let's take the dog to the graveyard. That's not, that's not what that is. You know what I'm saying? That's just not what that is. You know what I'm saying? That that they have dog parks. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I was trying to find areas where I could just take my pup to. You know what I'm saying? But I just, like, we can go walk around. Like, they got a little, one area, they have, like, a little track or whatever. We can take the dog to the little track area. You know what I'm saying? We could walk around the track because that's how I had to, like, 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 I was just, like, because of the accident. Like, I had just gotten into a, the Richmond Coliseum accident. How am I going to exercise? Where am I going to go to? You know what I'm saying? So, like, that right there was, I'm going to walk around this little miniature track. It's not John Marshall High School track, but it's a smaller track, and I can walk around the track. So, I went from, I got this walker, and I had the hardest time in the world with walking to I am walking without the walker like when I told you like the spirits were there with me like I feel like I don't have nobody like on um, like I had to literally like I gotta find me a family and I was just like you know what all y'all in this graveyard my family and all y'all is going to have to walk with me and be there with me. You know what I'm saying? Just all y'all. Care that I don't care that you're dead. You know what I'm saying? I just need me some support or something. And things have been changing in my life. Maybe just they needed somebody. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they just need somebody to come see them because ain't nobody coming to see them. And then you see a funeral, right? I think that maybe they the people who families are out there. You 
you, you bury the person, but then you don't come back to see the person. But then I'm the person just going over there to visit them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't know how to make no soap. I'm going to learn how to make me some soap. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to share it with my family. Like, I didn't care if the people came and picked the soap up. You know what I'm saying? I wrote that. I didn't care about, you know what I'm saying? They could have came, like, I could put it down. Right? And just say the next day, they came to pick it up. Okay? I was fine with that. Okay? I want you to know, I was just, I was fine with that. But when you ain't got nobody and you need a friend, I just made me a friend. Okay? But y'all are burying these people. And then I don't ever see nobody go and visit the people. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, we're going to be the, uh, I'm going to be the black shepherd. And you're going to be the dog angel. And we're going to come and check on the people in the graveyard. But I don't walk around. It's one that got a big hill. And I don't walk around that one. Because I think it might be a little bit dangerous for me to actually be walking around that in particular one. But the ones that are flat. I walk around those ones, and I'm just like, okay, yeah, this this safe, okay. But when you when you're in your car and there are garbage cans and the projects or wherever the hell you came from, and you think that you're just gonna throw your garbage on my graveyard, you there is you have a problem. And I will press charges. It's how I want you to look at the situation. Because you have a garbage can, a city garbage can, wherever the hell you came from, a garbage can to put your trash in. So I will press charges against you. Because I called the police and said somebody in a Cadillac, and they have cameras out there. Somebody in a Cadillac, they done came down Hospital Street, and they turned the corner, and they threw all their garbage out of the goddamn window like, like a week, like you, a week's worth of trash in a garbage fucking can, and you gonna throw your trash on the side of the fucking road. You're going to show more respect for my goddamn graveyard. And I will be the person to press the damn charges. And I will be right there to say, I saw you do it. I just want you to understand, y'all going to stay from out my graveyard. So today is your day to understand it. That when I got into my accident, won't well, nobody there for me. But them people laying dead in a graveyard. So from this day forth, understand. That ain't nobody going to be throwing trash. In my graveyard. And it's not just because Mr. John Marshall is in one graveyard. Understand you're going to stay from out of my graveyard. So let me tell you something about Mrs. Maggie Walker. I live on her street. You're not going to be disrespectful to Mrs. Maggie Walker or any other person that has a school in the United States. Or neither the UK. Do you understand? Understand that I will go into a court building. And I will testify. Understand on today 